What's up guys, Shady Peach here, and we're back with another booster box opening. So, we've kind of made a mistake. We uh, actually were already in the middle of doing the video that we were doing. So, essentially for this uh, end of the format, my plan was to open a booster box of Rise of the Floodborne. Unfortunately, I made a boo-boo and uh, I opened already the first four packs while I was apparently not recording with my camera that's on my phone this uh, for the cards that I'm actually opening. So I've already opened four of the packs of the booster box. So let's go ahead and change perspective real quick. So we've got our packs here that we haven't opened yet. Thank God we caught it early. We've only opened, like I said, four packs. So, and I know that because I still have the, the wrapping right. Oh, you know what? Sorry, five packs uh, that we've already opened. So it's kind of a bummer because what we've already opened had uh, a Mufasa, so we've already pulled a Legendary, and a Tragic Beast, or Beast Tragic Hero. So I've already hit two Legendaries already in this, and I didn't even get to show you guys. So we're just gonna kind of pick up where we left off. Uh, I, I th still think that this is worth a video. Uh, this was the Mulan that goes with the Mufasa, so. So far, we've pulled Mufasa, Beast Tragic Hero, and then these guys right here. So, and then Mulan goes as the foil. So, kind of bummed out, but it is what it is. So, we're just going to kind of pick up where we left off and start this all over again. So, but that's kind of awesome. I've never pulled Beast Tragic Hero. I wish you guys had seen it on camera. My reaction was pretty big. Um, and then right afterwards, I got a Mufasa. So, I've already got two legendaries so far. I'm just glad I didn't pull an Enchanted without filming, and I am filming now, so you guys can see me. So, let's go ahead and keep things going. Uh, trying to think of other things that I said. So, yeah, essentially, Inklands is right around the corner. This is basically the last week of this format, so I wanted to open this box one last time. Not forever. I, I mean, Rise of the Floodborne is a core set. It's the second set ever, so I'm sure that I'm gonna be opening more of it as time goes on, but for right now, we're gonna definitely be uh, taking a break on booster boxes for Rise of the Floodborne, and yeah, focusing on Inklands for a while, and then hopefully more first chapter, depending on reprints, but we'll see what happens. So, thank you guys for joining me on this, and yeah, picking up right where we left off. And, ooh, nice, Cinderella Stouthearted, and we've got a Dinner Bell. Both of those are used cards in the format at the moment, so I will gladly go ahead and sleeve those up. And a dinner bell. I've also started a master collection for foils only when it comes to uh, collecting for both the first chapter and Rise of the Floodmourne. So I have definitely been adding to that. And I've also noticed that I have a lot more first chapter cards than I do uh, Rise of the Floodborne. I think I've only opened Rise of the Floodborne booster boxes twice, if memory serves, um, but opened a lot more first chapter. So we've got Panic, Nothing to Hide, Grumpy. We've got I'm Stuck, Oop. Uh, Go the Distance, Cinderella, Daisy Duck, Launch, Fairy Godmother, Mickey Mouse, ooh, nice, double super rare, Dr. Facilier, and a binding contract. All right, let's go ahead and get that sleeved. Yeah, I I'm really bummed that you guys didn't get to see me pull the Beast Tragic Hero, but at least I was able to catch it before I opened the entire box. That would have been heartbreaking, so. Um, the astute observer of my channel will probably notice the lighting's a lot better. I have slowly been getting more and more, um, of an upgrade when it comes to my setup. I can never stop, oh, best card in the game, James. Uh, I can never stop improving what we have, so hopefully if you guys have any advice for, uh, getting better filming of the card openings, let me know, but hopefully everything looks a little bit smoother than it used to. Nice, another legendary. We got Donald Duck, not again, and a Hercules hero in training. All 
All right, our third legendary. We've been doing awesome so far. I will take it. You guys also didn't see me. I shuffled up all the packs too, so it's gonna be totally random. I mean, I don't really know if uh, Lorcana maps their boxes. I think that there is ratios of guaranteed amounts, roughly, of legendaries, but I don't know if they're mapped in terms of location for their boxes necessarily. But I shuffled them up anyway. I just know that typically the OG Yu-Gi-Oh's were like that, so. Let's see what we got. We've got Dr. Facilier, Minnie Mouse, Panic, Nothing to Hide, Grumpy, Benja, Madame Mim, Queen of Hearts, Li Shang, Sleepy's Flute, Peter Pan's Shadow, and Let the Storm Rage On. All right, cold never bothered me anyway. I will take it. Okay. Got a nice little chunk of things open so far. I would really like some more enchanted action. I've definitely become addicted. Now that I've pulled three enchanteds, I definitely want a lot more. So we've got Jiminy Cricket, Juan, Baranya, Corella Deville, Sleepy, Magic Broom, Nick Wild, You Can Fly, Pick a Fight, Merlin, The Queen, and Queen of Hearts, Impulsive Ruler. Yeah, I'm sure you guys have all seen that the Enchanteds for the first chapter and the second chapter have all been going up. <sighs> Elsa right now is over $800 as of this this month. We'll see how long that lasts. I am sure that there's going to be reprints for the first chapter, knock on wood, but it just doesn't make sense for there not to be. So we've got Enchantress, Duke Wesselton, Mulan. Legend of the Sword and the Stone, Rey, Hercules, Tiana, Cogsworth, Doc, Ooh, Madame Mim, Prince Charming, and Chief Bogo. All right, hit a little bit of a slow streak. That's okay. So far, I'm pretty satisfied with my purchase. Everything we've gotten so far. move this train along. <clears throat> Alright, we've got Radigan, Basil, Snow White, Winnie the Pooh, Felicia, Donald Duck, Ring the Bell, Hey Hey, Rapunzel, Madame Mim, Radigan, and Lucifer. A lot of animals. A lot of great mouse detective cards in that pack. And then ending it with a Lucifer from Cinderella. I hate that card. <laughs> that card is evil on Pixelborn. People use it like crazy. Take cards away from me. All right. I feel like we're due for an Enchanted at this point. Probably like about halfway through. Can't quite tell. So we've got Raya. Popsicle, Handing the Roses Red, Dr. Facilier, Minnie Mouse, Jafar, Donald Duck, Merlin, I think we've gotten all the different iterations of, oh no, I'm missing Crab uh, for Merlin, Gaston, Dinner Bell, Chief Bogo, and Dr. Facilier. Okay. Getting a lot of Amethyst stuff, at least in that pack. Okay. All right. Will this be the day we get our fourth enchanted? It's the dream. So I've got Croquet Mallet, Fidget, Flynn Rider, Jasmine, Happy, Let the Storm Rage On, Fang Crossbow. Card Soldiers, Mouse Armor, Kronk, Tiana, 
and Caterpillar. Calm and collected. That's what I am right now. Calm and collected. Because I know an enchanted is coming. I don't. But I hope. We'll see. Got three legendaries already from the booster box. I don't really know how much is quote unquote expected. But we'll see. I'm, I mean, I'm stoked that one of them is Beast. That pays for a big chunk of the box by itself. So, now we got Flynn Rider, Basil, Grumpy, oh, Merlin Squirrel. I forgot about that one too. Felicia, Beast, Bounce, Hey Hey. Dopey, Wait Set, Pete, and Prince Charming. So I think the only Merlin that's left that we haven't got from this set is just the Crab. Not that we need him. side <clears throat> all right so i've got i'm stuck go the distance radigan basil snow white tiana sardine can mother gothel the prince lucifer dragon gem and fidgets that boy sleeved Hit a little bit of a slow streak. Moment. Still holding out hope. I'm able to pull Legendary Enchanted. Or Legendary, or an Enchanted. So, I've got Cusco, Peter Pan's Dagger, Enchantress, Duke Wesselton, Mulan, Magic Broom, Yzma, Queen of Hearts, Robin Hood, Sorcerer Spellbook, Raya, and Basil. Okay. Let's go ahead and put you away. Okay. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs left. All right, guys. I'm starting to get a little, a little nervous. I'm hoping we didn't pull the most crazy cards in this set right off the bat and then nothing else. It'd be really cool. If we get one more beast, one more beast tragic hero, I'd be pretty stoked with that. So, I've got Improvise, The Knock, Rapunzel, Cusco, Peter Pan's Dagger, Charge, Cheshire Cat, Blue Fairy, Snow White, Tuck Tuck, Goofy, and Rapunzel. All right. Come on, Rapunzel. Get in your sleeve. Get in your sleeve. This Goofy is insane. 10-10 <laughs> ten, with four lore. Jeez. I'm hoping he'll be used one day, but we'll see what happens. All righty. So, we've got Radigan, Gumbo Pop, The Queen, Baloo, Chip the Tika, Prince Naveen, Bucky, Bashful, Corella Deville, Winnie the Pooh, World's Greatest Criminal Mind, and The Prince Never Gives Up. Never gives up and neither should you. An Enchanted is coming. Enchanted is coming. We'll see. All right, last five packs. I hope everyone has enjoyed this format so far. I'm looking forward to some Into the Inklands. So I've got I'm Stuck, <clears throat> Tigger. Oh, I don't know if I already mentioned it because I don't know how much has been cut off or not. Uh, but I do plan to open at least two booster boxes of Into the Inklands right away. And more than likely, I'll open up more as time goes on. Um, and then definitely going to be taking a break from booster boxes for this set for a little while. Miss Judson, 
And hey, another legendary, finally. We've got Alice Growing Girl and a Mulan. All right, I'll take it. Four legendaries so far. That's a pretty good booster box. I will definitely take that. Look at these, they're all, they're all five drops, except for Alice. Five, 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 three. All right, gladly take that. And let's go ahead and sleeve up the Mulan. Yeah, more than likely we'll be um, opening more than just those two booster boxes of Into the Ink Lens. Just gotta space things out, because it's expensive. This is an expensive hobby. I'm sure everyone knows that. So, I've got Queen of Hearts. Happy. Duke Wesselton. I'm Stuck. Tigger. Prince Naveen. Donald Duck. Whoop. Sardine Can. Rapunzel. Ooh, nice. Cinderella Ballroom Sensation. That's always a good card. Perplexing Signposts. I don't get this card too much. And Pinocchio on the run. Alrighty. And I'm definitely going to go ahead and sleeve this girl up. She was always a nice welcome sight. Alrighty, guys. Last three packs. Got a queen and two beasts. Let's go ahead and eliminate one of the beasts. Okay. So, final three packs. We've got Merlin, Queen of Hearts, Felicia, Happy, Duke Wesselton, Cinderella, Pinocchio. Well, that's a good one. I'll put that to the side. Mother Gothel, Mouse Armor. Nice, an Arthur. Always a welcome sight. Nice, a Tremaine. All right, this is an awesome pack so far. Tremaine and Arthur and... Hey, Jasmine. All right, well, that part's a little anticlimactic, but I got three really good meta cards. I will gladly take those and sleeve those up. All right. Another Tremaine. Another Arthur. And Pinocchio. Wish all the packs were like that. Dang. All right. Last two. Let's go ahead and go the queen. Let's see what we can get. All right. I've got Dolan Duck. Owl. Be still. Or hold still. Fairy Godmother. What did you call me? Jafar. Bell. Fairy Godmother again. Zero to hero. Strength of a Raging Fire. That's a great card. Put that to the side. Little John. And Chip the Teacup. Well, that's a little anticlimactic. All right. Let's leave that boy up. All right, guys. Final pack. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Again, I'm sorry for the rough videoing. I can't believe I didn't hit record, but... At least you guys got to see the majority of the booster box. So, final booster pack for Rise of the Floodborne and last booster box opening for a while. At least for this set. All right, let's see. Do we have final pack magic? I have Veranya, Corilla Deville, Sleepy. Oh. There's Crab Merlin. There we go. We got them all. Go the distance. Last Cannon. Pain. Binding Contract. Caterpillar. Mulan. The Huntsman. And Arthur. All right, Arthur Farther. Let's go ahead and get you sleeved. All right. So four legendaries. That's not too shabby. I will not turn my nose up at that. So let's go ahead and review one more time what we got. So, we've got Arthur. Uh, this is not a hollow. I'll put the non-hollows to the side. Chip the teacup. Non-hollow, non-hollow, non-hollow. Jasmine. 
not hollow. Pinocchio, Mulan, Prince, uh, Prince, Rapunzel, Basil, Fidget, Prince Charming, Caterpillar, Dr. Facilier, Lucifer, Chief Bogo, Queen of Hearts, Let the Storm Rage On, Hercules, Finding Contract, oh, that is not hollow, Dinner, Dinner Bell, Mickey Mouse, Pain, Piranha, Donald Duck, and Mulan. And then in terms of useful non-foils, we've got Cinderella Stouthearted, Cinderella Ballroom Sensation, Pinocchio Talking a Puppet, Arthur, Wizard's Apprentice, Lady Tremaine, Imperious Queen, Strength of a Raging Fire, and then our four legendaries, Alice Growing Girl, Donald Duck Not Again, Mufasa Betrayed Leader, and probably the best card in the set, arguably, is Beast Tragic Hero. $45 to $50 card right here. All right. Well, that's a pretty good box. I'm pretty satisfied altogether with that. 45, 20 bucks. I don't really know what these guys are worth, but these guys over here are probably more money. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Got a lot more openings I'm gonna be doing on the way. Probably not for Rise of the Floodborne anytime soon. But yeah, uh, be sure to leave a like, be sure to subscribe, and let me know what you guys wanna see in the next video. All right, I hope you guys are having a great rest of your day. All right, peace.